Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. I've done a few Photoshop tutorials on my channel so far and in all of them I've noticed that I kind of just assume that uh, whoever's watching it has a good understanding of Photoshop or at least a basic understanding of Photoshop. That's not always the case, obviously. Not everybody knows how to use Photoshop, so I decided to make a very, very basic beginner tutorial, and that's what this video is. I'm going to show you the interface, I'm going to show you how to use some of the very basic tools in Photoshop, as well as uh, how to understand layers in Photoshop as well. So that's what this video is. It's just a very basic introduction to Photoshop for those of you who either have never even opened the program before or just don't really know much about it. And I want to do more Photoshop tutorial type videos, but I don't really want them to flood this channel, Muggle Magic, because this is really for Harry Potter DIYs and Harry Potter related videos and things. And Photoshop isn't always Harry Potter related. So I'm going to be posting this video as well as many other Photoshop tutorial videos on a brand new channel that I just started called Photoshop Wizardry. So if you're interested in learning how to use Photoshop, I'm going to cover everything from the very basics like this video all the way up to like professional level Photoshop editing and uh, creating templates and things like that, like I do in Photoshop. And that's all going to be on my new channel, Photoshop Wizardry. There's going to be some overlap between uh, Muggle Magic and Photoshop Wizardry for a little while. So I'm going to post a few more uh, Photoshop tutorials on this channel. And they're also going to be posted on Photoshop Wizardry. But I do want to move toward everything Photoshop tutorial related being on Photoshop Wizardry. So I'll link my new channel in the description box below. Please uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, subscribe if you want to kind of follow my uh, tutorial videos as, as I go because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to start very basic and by the end it's going to be very advanced and uh, professional level Photoshop editing. So yeah, I'll link it in the description box. I'll also put a card up in the corner to the new channel. So yeah, just go ahead and give, check it out and let me know what you think. Now this tutorial that I'm doing today was brought to you by Skillshare. A premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you and your new year goals. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. I found on Skillshare a whole set of videos on Photoshop and you were going to find a ton on Photoshop and all of the Adobe products. So if you're actually getting started on YouTube, this would be a great place to learn some stuff from like Premiere Pro and After Effects and Photoshop. You'll need those skills as well. Skillshare is also very, very affordable with an annual subscription of less than $10 a month. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. The first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the description will get a two month free trial. So if you're interested in two free months, go down to the description box and click the link right now just to make sure that you are one of the 500 uh, people to get that. Anyways, yeah, let's get into the basics of Photoshop. So when you start Photoshop up for the first time, it's going to look something like this. If you go, if it doesn't look like this, you can go to Window, Workspace, and choose Essentials. So over here we have all of our tools along the left, and then I have an open file right here. Yours would probably be just blank if you hadn't opened one, so just do File New, and then you can put in the dimensions or choose a default file size. Um, a good thing that I like to do is make sure that it's at least 2400 by 2400 and 300 DPI. And that's just for, you know, designing something starting from scratch without any particular size in mind. But the bigger the file, the better quality it's going to be. So now what I like to do at first, and your settings will save, so you don't have to do this every time you start Photoshop up, but over here I'm going to close this tab group because I don't need the Learn Photoshop tab open. Also the libraries, I'm going to go ahead and close this because I don't use it. And so now all we have left are layers and color. Um, honestly, I don't really use color. I don't use this to choose my colors very often, so I'm just going to close that tab group as well. 
and I'll keep properties open and adjustments open. But yeah, so we have our layers right here, which is the most important thing aside from your tools. So let's just take a look at what tools Photoshop has real quick. And I'm not gonna go over every single little detail for all of these tools in this video. I'm just gonna go over the basic stuff that you wanna know. Also, an, <laughs> this is an annoying thing with Photoshop CC. When you hover over it, you get this little pop-up here. And I just, it, it's probably helpful for some people and especially if you're starting out, but I find it annoying. And if you do too, here's how you turn that off. We're gonna go to Edit, Preferences, and General. And then we're gonna go to Tools and just click, uh, de-click Use Rich Tool Tips. So uncheck that one. We're gonna click OK. And now all you get is a simple tool tip that tells you the name of the tool and the keyboard shortcut. So we have a rectangular marquee tool. So it's just, you know, if you've ever used paint, you're probably familiar with this. It's just a rectangular selection tool. And below that, we have the polygonal lasso tool, which is what I have selected. If you right click on some of these tools, if they have like that little arrow icon in the corner, you get more options. So by default, it's this lasso tool. And that's just, you can do selections, just draw and select whatever shapes you want. Um, but what I like is the polygonal lasso tool because you can actually make points and get you know, a better shape. It's, it's a little easier for me to do if I'm trying to get a precise shape. Now I'm just gonna skip some of these because we don't, we're, I'm not gonna go into a big in-depth detail of, of all these tools. I will have a video for each one of these that goes into uh, more detail. But for now, this is just, we wanna learn the basics. So down here, something else you're probably familiar with, we have the paint bucket tool. And on top of that, there's a gradient tool and yeah, other things. But if, if you don't see the paint bucket tool, just right click on it and select paint bucket. And then down here, we have our colors. And you can have two different colors in Photoshop. You have your primary color and then your secondary color. So I'm gonna swap these so black is now my primary color and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create a new layer because Photoshop uses layers. And just think of these as sheets of transparent paper stacked on top of each other. So right now we're on a background layer, which is white, and that's why you see white. But if I create a new layer, which is this icon right down here, I've just created a new layer and automatically named it layer one. If I hide the background layer, all I see is this gray and white checkerboard looking pattern. And that checkerboard pattern is basically nothing. It's basically transparent in, in this area. So I'm gonna fill in this little shape that I made with my paint bucket tool, just like you would in paint. And as you can see, it filled it in black. And now if I make the background visible again, you can see the white in the background, but I'm going to deselect. So to do that, you can just, you know, select the uh, selection tool and click once, or you can do control D. And I'll go over uh, a lot of keyboard shortcuts throughout most of my videos, but I mean, it's very important to learn these. So to deselect a selection, control D for deselect. It's pretty easy to, to remember that one. So now we can talk about the move tool since we have something here. So in layer one, as you can see, you can hide and show the layers with this little eye icon to the left of the layer in the layers panel. So I have, if I have the background selected and I try to move, it doesn't move anything. Actually, it won't let me because the layer, the background layer is always locked. But if I select layer one, I can move this around. Now, if I create a new layer and I'm going to make another selection, I'll just do a square this time and let's change our color. So I'm gonna click on the little color box over here and let's just make this uh, blue. And then I can select my paint bucket tool again and I'm going to make sure my layer two, the new layer that I made is selected and I can fill in this box and then control D to deselect. Now if I go up to the top of my tools again and select the move tool, and I have the blue square layer that I just made selected, I can move this around. So whatever layer's on top is going to show 
on top. See, see what I mean by these are like transparent sheets of paper and you're just putting different images on these, sh these uh, layers or sheets of paper. That's how the move tool works um, and selecting and filling in with the uh, paint bucket tool. It's pretty simple. Another tool that you're probably going to want to know about. So let's create a new layer again. So we'll, this will create layer three and I'm going to select a new color. So I'm just going to select a grayish, kind of like a dark gray color. Well, first of all, I will move my boxes that I made out of the way so that I have this top area to work on and I'll reselect layer three. Whatever work you do, remember, it's going to be on the layer you have selected. And the next tool I'm going to talk about is the text tool. So now with the text tool selected, if we click somewhere, hold down and drag, you can make a uh, text box. So now um, I can type something in here. And another thing to keep in mind, these options up here change depending on what tool you have selected. So right now I have my text tool selected, so I get all these options up here for my text tool. I can change the font, so if I click on the arrow right here, it brings up my fonts. It took a little while to load because I have tons of fonts on this computer. But um, I could change it to uh, copper plate gothic bold. Actually, I'll have the text selected first and copper plate gothic bold. Or if there's a specific font you're looking for, you can highlight the name of the font here and start typing. And then it'll show up in your search result. And then over here, it would have where it says regular. I mean, if you've used Word, these this part's pretty simple to understand. If there are different types of font, like if there's an italic version or a bold version of this font you have selected, it'll show up here. Um, this is the font size. So we could make it smaller or we could make it larger. Another thing is uh, justifying the text with these. So we can justify it to the center, uh, the left, or the right. So I'll just keep mine centered. And then this little gray box here is the font color. So if I click it, it brings up my color selection and I can make it yellow or green or, you know, whatever color I want it to be. And yeah, there we go. Um, I'll go more in depth with uh, all of these tools later on. I just wanted to kind of come in here and give you a quick little tour of Photoshop. So now you know how to select paint use the text tool and use the layers. And basically that's all this video's for. It's just a quick introduction. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you wanna see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.